Yes, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to compute your BMI, your desirable body weight, your daily calorie requirements, and also we will count your calorie intake every day. So, we only need a paper, a pen, and a calculator for this episode. So, let's begin. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to compute is the BMI or the body mass index. Before we continue, let's define first what is body mass index. BMI is an index of a healthy people in relation to their height. That is BMI. So we'll compute your BMI. The formula is weight in kilogram over height in meter square. Okay, that's simple. Again, it's weight in kilogram and height in meter square. So let's compute. Okay, I have my calculator here. Actually, this is one of the best calculator I have because it let me pass the board exam. And I have a marker here. And of course, I board, but it's too big. But anyways, let's see. So again, the formula is weight in kilogram <clears throat> over height in meter squared. Okay, that is for your BMI. Okay, BMI. All right, so let's begin. Let's just use mine. So you will know if I'm overweight, underweight, normal, obese, or I like it. Okay, so let's have mine. First is, my weight is... <laughs> should I say? Mm, should I tell you? My weight is... 67 kilograms. Okay? My weight is 67 kilograms. Okay? And my height is, I'm actually 160, um, 163 kil uh, kilometer. <laughs> kilometer! No, I'm 163 centimeter. Okay? So basically, in inches, I'm, I mean, in feet, I'm 5 feet and 4 inches. 163 centimeter centimeter since it is squared and we need to convert it into meter just add point here so 1.63 meters so you can remove the centimeter now <clears throat> and we just need to multiply it by itself 1.6 what <laughs> Did I just say six? It's six. Okay, 1.63 times 1.63. Wait, let's use my magical calculator. 1.63 times 1.63. So of course, it's 2.65. Let's just simplify it. 2.65. Okay, so let's compute now. Oh my gosh. Twenty-eight. Happy now? Okay. So what does it mean? What is this number? What is the meaning of this number? Okay. So let me explain to you. So remember my BMI is 25 25 point 28. 
what is the meaning of these numbers here? Why do we need to know? Okay? First, underway. BMI has four categories. Okay? We have underweight. We have normal weight. Okay? We also have overweight. And we have obese. Obese 1, 2, and 3. Okay? Am I underweight? Am I in my normal weight? Overweight? Obese? 1, 2, and 3. <clears throat> so let's see. Alright, so I already have here the record. <clears throat> okay? Of our BMI range. Okay? So the first one that we have here, wait. Okay, so my BMI is 25.28. You know, in BMI, every point is very important. That's why you need to be specific. Okay, so the first one, we have UW or underweight. Underweight <clears throat> is in the range of less than 18.5. So if your BMI is around 18, 17, 16 point something, 17 point something, it means you are underweight, okay? Underweight meaning you have to gain weight to be in normal BMI, okay? Did you get that? Yes, you have to get that. Okay, next one, let's go to the normal weight, okay? Normal weight, if your BMI is 18.5, to 24.9 so B or take note with that point points okay it's very important in uh, in your BMI okay so again 18.5 and 24.9 is the normal that is the standard BMI all over the world okay next one we have overweight overweight Meaning, you have a BMI of 25 to 29.9. Don't laugh at me. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Alright. So, next one. Obese. Okay. Obese is around 30 to 34.9. And the rest, extremely obese, is around above 35. So let's see what where my BMI is under. My BMI is 25.28. So where is my BMI or yes? Of course, I'm a little bit just a point right? because of the cut off here. 24.9 and, and I'm around 25.29. And a little modification and you know can help you lower down your BMI. Alright, so that is how you compute your BMI. Let's have a quick review. Wait, I'll erase this one. One, two, three. Wow! Uh, Alright, so what is the formula of BMI again? Weight in kilogram over height in Square. Yes, and that is how you compute your BMI. And you know, I just wanna, um, how do you say that? I just wanna correct this misunderstanding about malnutrition. You know, when we say malnutrition, when we say malnutrition, we have this thinking, Filipino thinking that if you are malnourished, it means you are underweight, you're very skinny. Okay, I just want to correct that thinking. Malnutrition means bad nutrition. It doesn't just refer to being thin or being skinny, but being obese or overweight as well. It is a form of malnutrition. So I hope you can understand that. This is just simple. Mal means bad. Okay, so if you say you are mal malnourished, it means your nutrition is bad. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are underweight, okay? 
being overweight or being obese is also a form of a bad nutrition or a malnutrition and we need to correct it. I hope that's clear. And yes, we're done computing our body mass index or our BMI. This time, I'm going to teach you how to compute your desirable body weight. What is desirable body weight? It means that it is your ideal weight, a weight or a healthy weight that you need to maintain. So that's why it's important also to know what is your desirable body weight so that you will know if you're healthy or if your weight is healthy or not anymore. So let's begin. Where is my Okay, so let's begin and let's start. What? <laughs> begin and start. All right, so we'll be using a Tan Hauser's method of getting your desirable body weight. Okay, so first, I'm gonna need my height. Okay, what is my height? Any guess? I'll give you 50 peso lower. <laughs> My height is 163 centimeter. Okay, how did I get that? For example, you don't know uh, your height in centimeter. You only know 5 feet, 5'2, 5'1, 5'5, 5'6, 5'7. Just don't compute your desirable body weight. Anyways, you will not know. Just kidding. Alright, so how did I get this 100 cent? Uh, 163 centimeter. So I will teach you how. Okay. Height. My height is five feet and four inches. Okay. Five feet and four inches. Yes. From feet, we have to convert it into inches. So how do we do that? Okay. So I have five feet here and four inches. You will just add it around 64 inches. You will just multiply 5 into 12. Okay? Remember, 5 feet into 12. Okay? Because in one foot, there is 12 inches. That's why we need to multiply that. So, 5 <clears throat> times 12 equals 60 plus inches here plus four that's why I have 64 okay I'm not good in mathematics but this is my life when I was in college I need to compute and compute and compute this is actually a basic okay so let's get this one 64 inches okay times 2.5 54. This is centimeter. Okay, so that we can get the centimeter. So basically, 64 times 2.54 equals. Wait, let me get my calculator. 64 times 2.54 is around 162.56. Or if you round it, round it off, it's around one, sorry, 163 centimeter. So that is my height in centimeter. From 54, I converted it into centimeter, which is 163. That's easy. Okay. The formula I would be uh, including it in the link below, so you you can follow. Or if you're having a hard time computing it, or if you can't understand me <laughs> explaining it, just, yeah, get the formula below and you can follow. Alright? Okay, so I need to, let's erase this first. Okay, so basically I already teach you how to compute your centimeter, I mean, from feet to centimeter. This time, let's start now computing your desirable body weight, okay? So how do we compu compute your desirable body weight? 
based on Tannhauser's method. Okay? I'm so sorry for my handwriting. I'm really bad at it. Okay? So I have 163 centimeter for my height. Okay, height 163 centimeter just minus 100. Just to make sure. Okay? Just to make sure, I'm gonna use my calculator. 163 minus 100. 63. Okay? 63. Then, the next step. Minus 10% of 63. What is the 10% of 63? Okay? Minus 6 plus 3. Okay? So, minus 6.3. Three. So basically, this is the result of the computation. Kilograms. You can put this now into kilograms. Okay? I only need 56.7 kilograms. Um, I mean, that is my healthy weight. Okay? 5 feet 4 inches man or 163 centimeter tall um, individual. You only need... 56.7 kilograms okay and don't worry it has a healthy range it is actually can you see it? yes it is actually plus or minus 10% okay plus minus 10% or 56.7 okay so let's compute that 56.7 minus 5 point let's say 5.7 so 51 51 can you still see that sorry i'm just using my phone 51 okay and another one plus plus 10 percent okay 56.7 plus, uh, no, uh, yes, plus 5.7 was 62. Okay, so basically, this is my healthy range, okay? 51 to 62 kilograms. So if I go over that, around 60. 5, 70 kilograms or below around 45 kilograms it means I am not on my healthy way simple as that okay simple right this is how we do this is mathematics and nutrition okay so yes how like if I'm American I don't use kilograms I use pounds for example I have 56.7 56.7 you just need to multiply it to 2.2 wait okay so for example I'm American I don't use kilograms I use pounds so my desirable body weight my desire desirable body weight is 56.7 right so I just need to multiply this by 2.2 because one kilogram is equi equivalent to 2.2 pounds so yes um 56.7 times 2.2 so basically i'm 124.7 pounds so this is my healthy um or desirable body weight for a 163 centimeter all individual okay or five four five feet four inches individual you only need 56 kilograms and remember my he healthy range 51 kilogram to around 62 kilograms that will be for your healthy um, weight did you get it yay of course am I good in teaching of course, I think so.